Hello and welcome back to Uwe Laron on FS22. Now I am trying to gently head back to our plot of land with our IBC of um, liquid fertilizer. Slowly on the brakes, we don't want it to shoot off. Now obviously we've already got, obviously, I shouldn't say obviously, you might not know. Um, we've got uh, one uh, half filled IBC of herbicide on our plot of land and we also have one up at the store still because obviously, obviously I can't stop saying obviously, terrible um, it doesn't take a full IBC but I think we're going to get uh, probably more fertilising jobs than we will herbicide weeding jobs so for now brought the fertilizer with us. Last time out we got round to seeding our field with wheat. We've preemptive sprayed it with herbicide in hopes that that's going to stop the weeds from growing through and we've also fertilized our own field. So today we're going to need to find ourselves some jobs to uh, a bit of spending money. We need to build that up. Uh, we need to be able to afford a some sort of shed or shelter for our machinery. And I want to try and build up enough money. I said it before. I'll say it again. I'll say it a hundred times to buy the grain mill. So let's have a look at the contracts available at the moment. And we have a couple of cultivating jobs. Now that's offering some largish equipment, so I'm guessing that's a big field, whereas that one doesn't offer a lot of money, but it's machinery we can use ourselves, so we'd get all the money. Then we've got all these lovely fertilising jobs. Fertilising pays well. We've already got some fertiliser, so there's not much more of an outlay. Outlay? Outlay? That's probably a good one. That's probably a good one. But what we do have is right next to us. Field 40 wants fertilising. Field 41 wants ploughing. So thus the um, cotton field is next to us. And this is what was the um, sorghum. So that must have got harvested whilst we were fertilising. Or in coming back to the game it has... Um, we say it itself and they've done it themselves so I think we're going to start by taking on this little job here we'll accept the contract that'll be at the top so fertilise field 40 but I also want to see if we can accept multiple jobs so if I click borrow items because I haven't got a plough yet we can nice so we can just stack jobs so if we had a big fertilizer spreader or sprayer we could take all the fertilizing jobs and just head out with our fertilizer I mean that would make for probably the best video but money that's what we need anyway let's uh, attach our sprayer we only just detached at the end of the last episode, I think. Now, it's not going to take a lot. But we'll get a bit more out of there. I like to top them all. Hopefully, our tyres aren't going to destroy his crops. They don't usually when you do a contract, do they? We'll just, uh, they haven't destroyed when we've driven, driven over a field. That's not ours. And that's not destroyed them, so that's good. If that was our field, we'd have been buggered. But it's not. The game is kind, because we should have our, you know, narrow tyres on. But we'll get this done for him. A little bit of uh, early easy money. I can say then we shall go and collect the plough 
we'll probably use the equip his tractor as well. We'll go and collect the plow and uh, plow that field out. We should really raise that up. Shouldn't be dragging through the crops, should it? It's not very professional. With our big tyres and our weight on, there's very little about us that's professional at the minute. If excuse me, my voice appears to be going today. It's because I've gotten used to not talking, I reckon. Now we're back doing uh, commentary. We've uh, <coughs> like wearing out my voice. It's, uh, it's getting quite grey. We've got rain on the way. So we'll be able to see whether we can do jobs in the rain. If we can't do jobs in the rain, then uh, <laughs> this is going to be a very short video. <laughs> uh, we'll probably have to try and do some building with uh, the little pennies that we have. Let's try and get this straight. That should be half decent coverage going down the middle here. Hopefully he'll be happy with it for a, a completed percentage anyway. If not, we will have to go up the side somewhere and uh, try and catch whatever bits have been missed. Let's have a look at that while it's on the back here. It's just like the, oh, the detail of it. It's absolutely brilliant. Lovely. close are we for him? Oh, missed one percent, so if we just back that up. Catch that corner. Yeah, he's happy. So, we can fold this up again. Just drag that through his crops. <laughs> uh, we've definitely done more damage to that field than good. He will be wanting us back. Okay, and I'll just pop that next to the RBC. And we'll head up to the store and uh, get the doids. I'll probably jump up to the store. I think that's what we'll do. We'll do a naughty teleport. So for the ploughing contract, we've got this, what I consider a beautiful Deutsche Fahr 7250 TTV HD Agrotron. Now I like a Deutsch, I like them even more when they're in Warrior Black. Oh, they are beautiful. That is nice. And we've got a Cavernum plough, let's not... Let's not sleep on that. We've got the Cavernland Eco Mat. Again, nice details. Got a nice little uh, warning sign on there. Cool, very good. Right, again, we've got an automatic gearbox on this tractor. I'm sure I've set it to manual. So these should definitely be uh, manual if they are manual. Okay, so we'll uh, connect. Does that fold? Yeah. Thought it did. Right, let's put our weight on. So we're bouncing a bit there. A new weight. TW, what's that? Uh, Tenwinkle, Tenwinkle pack 1500. Just like that. Boom. See, now we need a Deutz. We're all in black. We need a Deutz warrior. See, it's just us, isn't it? It's, it's my style. There's always someone hostile on there as we come out of the. Uh, 
out of the shop, out of the store. Now, this job, I can't imagine it's going to be a quick job. This one's probably going to take me a little while to do. I think ploughing never is a quick job. You have to think for the time it takes to do the ploughing, especially if you do it with a proper angled plough. Um, it's it's not necessarily paid too well for for the time that you use. I don't think he harvested his field. Look at that. It was beautiful sorghum, all golden. We had a look at it last last time out. He was late getting to it, and it withered. Now that's interesting. As if the the AI aren't on time to harvest their fields. Whereas that one, I don't know if that got harvested. It's obviously been cultivated over there. Gonna have to keep track of what happens to the cotton. I don't necessarily want to do the cotton contract, but I want to keep an eye on uh, whether. Oh, just lowered the weight, right? A little bit off there. I think the uh, working box, like the hitbox for working, is a, a little bit more accurate than it was in 19. I like used to be able to drive along and you'd sometimes get an extra foot off from where the uh, the tool physically is, whereas, as you can see, we are only getting what we cover. Look at that texture. Hopefully that comes through after edit, because I, I play in 4K, but I, uh, I upload in 2K. But that ploughed texture, that is so good, with the stones coming through. That is nice. I like it anyway. That is very good. I am impressed. I've seen so many people um, online, on forums and uh, you know social media complaining that, that, you know, it's exactly the same game. It's not worth the money, it's this, that or the other. I don't know. I go over it every time. You can't please everyone. But the changes that they have made, I think, are big enough to warrant a new game. Well, because, oh, you could have updated, you could have updated. I'm impressed. I like what they've done. Now, I am going to do a little uh, header top and bottom on this one, just because we've got trees. And uh, I don't want to be... Uh, Smacking this chap's uh, doits into a tree. If it was a John Deere, maybe I wouldn't worry about smacking it up a bit, but it's a beautiful doits, so uh, we'll uh, look after it. And also, at the top, I don't want to be driving into my fields accidentally and uh, ruining my crops. I want to get out of that habit, uh, because if compaction does become a thing with gameplay, uh, we don't want to be doing it. We don't want to be in a habit of... Uh, making a mess already. Yeah, this field got harvested. That is a harvested field. So they got round to harvesting that one. Put that down a bit early. Um, but didn't get round to harvesting this one. I wonder if it's the same person. Sorry. So this is owned by Xavier Goon. And this one is his own is owned by Leopold Develpin. Xavier. Need to put your finger out, mate. You know, if he's if he's not got the time to work the land and look after it, I think he should sell it cheap to me. I think this plot is worth about 140 grand, so we couldn't even buy it anyway, but if he could do it cheap for us, because he can't manage it, then maybe, uh, you know, a deal could be struck. And 
birds, man. They pop out of nowhere, don't they? Quite frequent, much like the uh, the deer as well. Very frequent. The birds coming out of the ground, making that squawk. Now I did say at the start of this series I'm going to try and stay away from time lapse and stuff um, and just use jump cuts and sort of small couple of second clips of me doing the work because I might do proper um, time lapse series as well as sort of commentary led um, let's plays really not where I should be at the minute right let's try that again So we'll get our, our headland done on here, and then we'll uh, work our way through the field. Now I might go up and down and then come across this top end again, 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 and uh, just I just don't want to be driving in my field. I worked too fast when I was driving in the other chap's field, was I? But my field, I want to look after treat it with respect. Right. If I'm good to my land, my land will be good to me, that sort of thing. Yeah, I like that texture. It does look 3D. It's unfortunate that the tyre track on the top takes away sort of some of the 3D effect. As you can see that that's that's hovering above it, but yeah. 3D without being 3D is good. It's clever. Now our rain hasn't arrived yet. We didn't check the weather to see what time that was due. I guess that's something we can always do. We'll get to the bottom here and uh, maybe take a look at the weather. I think I'll do another full lap actually. Just to give me a little bit more space uh, with the trees. Looking at the weather forecast, it is saying rain around about 6 p.m. And then we've got rain forecast for every day <laughs> and snow in December. I don't know what sort of work we'll get done. We'll get to see what we're allowed to do in different weather conditions, though, so that's good. It might mean we, uh, we have some really short... <laughs> short episodes or um, more of the day in an episode. Did I put that down? I did put that down. Okay. Just want to have another little look inside the Deutz. We had a Deutz before. Now we are getting the screen flicker. I don't know if anyone else is getting the screen flicker. Just on the monitor there. It's a shame. It would be nice if they were real numbers, just, just scroll them through. Obviously the dash is uh, reactive though. We've got um, speed in miles per hour, we've got the uh, engine revolutions and uh, fuel depleting there digitally. The uh, the needles on the uh, revometer is going as well, as well as the speedo. All right, back across the top. Oh, that was good. You could I I felt the pull of that as I hit the hit the soil. Obviously, didn't feel it, feel it, but just in the reactiveness of. Uh, controls. Yeah. I'd probably say it a lot, but yeah, I mean, I am impressed. I'm impressed and enjoying it. It's very good. So that's the headland done. I shall, uh, 
crack on. Like I say, it's going to probably take up a big chunk of my day uh, getting this done. So uh, I'll do that. I'll show you bits as we go along, and uh, I'll try and remember to uh, let you join me at the end of the job. See you in a bit. It's now 10 to 4 in the afternoon. I would say I'm t just over halfway through. I'm definitely over halfway through um, plan of the field. So as you should imagine we've still got another, another in-game hour, if not more, still to go. But we'll get through it. As I say these uh, plowing jobs, they take up a long time. It's, uh, I always think it's the the most laborious job on the farm. The uh, ploughing. I like baling. Now I know baling's not everyone's cup of tea. We all like different things. But I am looking forward to getting some baling done. But I'm going to keep at it. I shall uh, keep plugging away. Get this ploughing done. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, we'll be... Uh, well finished, well finished, we'll be well and truly finished before the rain arrives because I don't know if that'll stop play whether it'll tell us we can't plough when it's raining, when the ground's wet if they're going for more realism that should uh, should definitely be a thing so uh, once again I'll see you in a little bit join me back on the ploughing job. We are now, as you can see, at 96% complete. It has just got 5 o'clock and uh, I'm sure you'll notice it has got a lot duller. That rain is imminent. It's going to be here any time now, I think. Uh, when we get to the top here, before we turn around, I just want to take a little look at the plough because this is the most we've used any equipment yet so far in the series. Just jump out. And we're starting to see signs of wear on the plough. I think the uh, the dirt texture looks really nice. That's got the 3D look to it as well. If you look at it, literally where my uh, reticule is there. The dirt detail tyres looks very good yeah the wear is starting to show, paint's flickering off that plough looks like it's taking a beating just on this field and this isn't even you know, a big field it's, you know, it's a good size, it took a lot of the day to do um, but ploughing does take a long time to do, anyone that's done farming and I haven't done farming but I've watched people plough before and not with as big of uh, ploughs as this. I've watched the plough, and uh, it's it's a slow process. You've got to go out at the right pace, turn the dirt over. You can't brush it. It takes up that some fields. I, I think around the areas where we've lived over the last sort of year or two, as we've moved about, you know, they take them a couple of days. They go out, they do a bit, they come back again the next day. So uh, to take half the work a day to do this field is not unrealistic and is not unreasonable. 
unfortunately, I, I just don't think it necessarily makes the best videos to just do uh, a whole episode of ploughing. So uh, I'm glad we got to do a little bit of fertilising at the start. I've tried to break it up with um, what will become little snipper angles of me doing it and obviously doing a little catch up in the middle and up top right hand corner it's now saying contract on field 41 has been finished well, I would like to complete it so it's going to take another few, uh, couple of passes to have that done and uh, there's just something in me that wants to see when the rain comes I want the rain to come to see if it makes us stop working Plow. That's what I'd like, because it wouldn't matter now the job's complete, so if it says uh, we can no longer work, we can still uh, get paid. I think we'll go down once and up one and we'll be done. Done for proper. a uh, nice little setup. It's sort of, sort of probably a uh, common obvious setup now. I can't think what we used to get a lot of. It used to be a lot more. It used to be a lot of John Deere's, didn't it? We used to get a lot of John Deere's. Um, the uh, Star CDX, that used to be a popular one in 19, you'd be given that on the contract. Whereas I think that a lot of the Deutzes came in um, through mods in 19, so I'm really pleased to see that we've got uh, Deutzes here in uh, 17, in 17, 22, I don't know why I'm counting backwards. Um, yeah, I was a little bit worried that with the number of brands that were coming in, although it's, you know, uh, probably a quite popular German brand is Deutz, you know, maybe not so much uh, internationally, so... Uh, yeah, I was a little bit concerned that we might might see an end to them because I know that they're not the most popular in game. So I'm pleased to see that they're here and that we're getting the models to use in contracts because I can't afford to buy one at the minute. Oh, that's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? I'm going to go back and get that. Odds get to the end and I start missing. I haven't missed any since I did the first little bit. Getting used to the width, I think it's because I'm trying to uh, commentate again. What we'll do, we'll do it properly. We'll just go up and we'll, uh, we'll have to come back down again. It has to be done. I'm not going to leave him that toughed out in the middle. Although, you know, perhaps that would teach him. Uh, to not let his crops just die with her, man. Tough lessons learned, Xavier. But there it is. That is the job finished properly. 100% ploughed. Let's just get off the field. Beautiful. See a little bit of dirt on there as well. We've not got no wear showing up on the tractor, which is good. You don't want them uh, wearing down too quickly. I know ours will because it's second hand, but I do love a Deutz. Right, let's complete our contract. So we're going to get paid uh, 1,679 for that one. That was for the fertilizer and 2,916. So uh, we lose, oh no, we're losing 400 because, or we're nearly 500 because of the uh, the lease with that. So it's 2,424. And we can collect that. Now I've got a feeling that this episode with editing is probably going to be a little bit shorter than the previous ones. But with the end of that contract, that is the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, leave your comments, leave your feedback down in the in the comments in the feedback section. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.